Hello everyone, today I want to explain the continuity equation. Let's do it. First, we have this channel. We have two cross sections, section 1 and section 2. That is the section 1, that's the section 2. We consider the flow of an incompressible liquid in a channel and with no inflow or outflow across the channel boundary, the flow be steady. The flow be steady, it means uh, the properties of flow according to the channel change, but within a section, the property of the fluid is not change. Okay. If V belongs to velocity and flow depth Y and density equal to rho, top water surface with this will be B. And the flow area represented by capital I. Rate of mass inflow through area DA1 at section 1 equal to rho 1 V1 DA1. And the rate of mass outflow through area DA2 at section 2 equal to rho 2 V2 DA2. This small segment, the flow in this small segment DA1 and the flow in this uh, small segment DA2 in a section 2. According to the law of conservation of mass, the rate of mass inflow at section 1 must equal the rate of mass outflow at section 2. Since the volume of liquid stored in the channel between section 1 and 2 remains unchanged. While the flow incompressible and there is no inflow and outflow across the boundary of the channel, so the, the volume stored between these two sections will be constant. So, the integration rho 1 v1 dA1 equal to the integration rho 2 v2 dA2, while the inflow at section 1 equal to outflow at section 2 we can uh, make this equation then since the liquid is assumed incompressible so rho 1 equal to rho 2 therefore we can cancel the rho 2 and rho 1 in the equation then it will be integration v1 dA1 equal to integration v2 dA2 so the rate of mass change it to a flow rate that is a flow rate equation if the velocity is assumed uniform at each section then v1 and v2 will be constant we can uh, take them out from the integration symbol it will be v1 integration da1 equal to v2 integration da2 then more more simplification or integration of da1 it will be a1 integration da2 it will be a2 so it changes to v1 a1 v2 a2 v1 a1 v2 a2 the other equation also valid for non-uniform velocity but we have to uh, change v1 to mean velocity at section 1 and v2 change uh, to a mean velocity in a section 2. In terms of volumetric flow rate q, this equation becomes q1 equal to q2. In hydraulic engineering, this equation is usually referred to as the continuity equation. That is the continuity equation we found it. Let's solve a problem. We have this uh, channel and this cross section and uh, this cross section, section 1 and section 2. If the area for section 1 20 meter square and velocity 5 meter per second and area at section 2 is 15 meter square sorry that's meet, uh, 15 meter square and we have to find the velocity at cross section 2 just apply continuity equation you easily uh, can get velocity 2 solution that is the continuity equation v1 multiply a1 equal to v2 multiply a2 then v2 equal to 5 multiply 20 at cross section 1 divide by 15 that is the area in cross section 2 the result is velocity to equal to 6.67 meter per second that's all i hope can be helpful see you in a next tutorial